Lunky slides as SEC triumphs over Terraform Labs in latest update, and what's next for Lunk? These questions and more news we will discuss in today's video. Welcome to Crypto Whale. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So if you are interested in everything around Terra Classic, this is the place for you. So let's talk about why the Lunk's price dropped. The price of Terra Classic decreased by 5.42% in the last 24 hours. This was after a U.S. district court ruled in favor of the SEC and against Terraform Labs. Terraform Labs is the startup behind Terra, the blockchain where Lunk is hosted. In February, the SEC charged Terraform Labs, opining that the now-collapsed Luna was a security. Per the filing, Du Quan, the embattled co-founder of the company, was also accused of orchestrating the sale of the securities. A look at the new ruling showed that the judge in charge of the case sided with the SEC. Judge Jed Rakoff, the judge in charge of the case, concluded that Terraform Labs failed to register both Luna and MIR as securities. Hence, the reason for the summary judgment. Though the Lanti team had distanced itself from Du Quan, it has not been easy to dissociate the token from developments related to the May 2022 Luna UST collapse. Weighted sentiment shows the unique positive-negative commentary market participants have about a project. When the metric is positive, it suggests that market players are bullish on a project. So, Lunk's weighted sentiment implied that the market is bearish on the token in the short term. Concerning social dominance, AMB Crypto's analysis of sentiment's data showed that the metric spiked on the 29th of December. The hike in social dominance meant that there was an increase in attention given to Lunk in the wake of the news. However, press time data showed that the metric reading had decreased. The initial increase suggested that Lunk's price may have hit the top, but the quick decline that the price was no longer overheated. Irrespective of the current condition, it might be difficult for Lunk to replicate its performance four weeks back. During that time, the price jumped double digits due to speculation that Terra's collapsed stablecoin could be revived. From the Lunk USD daily chart, the token trended downwards. The downtrend was proof that sellers were letting go of the token following the court ruling. However, the RSI showed that Lunk was heading to the oversold region. The indicator had also formed a negative divergence which typically foreshadows an uptrend. Should the RSI close in on a 30.00 reading, then Lunk may reverse to the upside. Further, the EMA indicated a bullish bias for the cryptocurrency. This was because the 20 EMA had crossed over the 50 EMA. If that remains the case as the selling pressure continues, it might take only a short while before rises in the $0.302 direction. Now let's talk about that the Lunk and USTC outperformed Luna this year. After Duquan abandoned Lunk and USTC and established a new Terra Luna chain, the Terra Classic community, comprised of dedicated validators and developers, made numerous efforts to revive Lunk and repeg USTC. This year, Terra Classic ecosystem tokens, Lunk and USTC backed by the dedicated community, have outperformed Luna substantially. Lunk prices rallied over 300% in the last two months after Binance and other crypto exchanges listed new pairs. Lunk hit a hit of $0.30275, supported by massive trading volumes. The price currently trades near $0.30150, whereas USTC also skyrocketed more than 500% in two months in response to new perpetual contracts and new pairs announced by Binance, making trading easy for the crypto community. While Lunk and USTC paired earlier gains, the prices are still trading higher. Lunk is still up 150%, and USTC is up 200% from the lows. The squeeze could end soon, and prices will rebound and recover some losses. Meanwhile, Terra Luna continued to suffer this year. Luna price rallied nearly 150% during the Lunk and USTC rally, but has now dropped to just 70% despite a massive crypto market recovery. Both projects have made many efforts to revive the chain, including inter-blockchain communication, governance-approved chain upgrades, and staking and token burns. However, among the two Cosmos-based chains, Terra Classic has performed better than Terra despite a lack of dedicated developers and funds. Terra and Du Quan's partial loss to the US SEC may have further repercussions for the Luna community. The court ruled that Luna and MIR tokens are securities. Meanwhile, the Terra Classic community is looking to bring back utility and revive tokens through a number of projects coming on the chain, renewed staking and burn narrative, and USTC repeg discussion with crypto exchanges, especially Binance. And now let's talk about why the Terra Classic community split on Burn It All USTC proposal. Terra Luna Classic community members are divided into two camps about the next steps in revitalizing the battle-scarred blockchain. One of the latest governance proposals reminds the community that 800 million Terra Classic USD tokens 
remain in the Risk Harbor multi-sig wallet. Earlier, the Risk Harbor developer team agreed to give up the wallet's funds as the keys were previously lost and the wallet address banned. The newest proposal, hash 11,958, for an 8 million USTC directly from CP, tackles the issue of 8.03 million USTC tokens being held in the community pool without any particular use. Intriguingly, proposal hash 11,958 comes just a few days after the Terra Luna Classic community rejected the 800M USTC burn proposal aimed at burning it all at once. On the other hand, the revised proposal touches upon the burning of USTC and Lunk inside the community pool. Besides the 8.03M USTC, the community pool also holds 3.49 billion Lunk, receiving only 28% yes votes. A whopping 70% of voters so far are categorically against the burning while another 2% vetoed the proposal. Terra Classic members on X argue that the USTC could be used for community initiatives. In comparison, the 800M USTC located in Risk Harbor's wallet is unworkable because Risk Harbor's developers reported having lost the private keys to the multi-sig wallet. Terra Luna Classic chain validators, delegators, and other prominent members are searching for an effective solution to revamp the embattled blockchain via burning. And a little bit about latest update on the plan to burn 800 million USTC. Bitcoinist had previously reported the Lunk community's proposal to burn 800 million USTC from the Luna Classic treasury. Voting on the proposal had begun, and then it looked more likely than not that the proposal was going to scale through. However, things have taken a drastic turn since then. Data from the voting forum shows that more validators have voted against the proposal since then. In fact, some of these validators have gone as far as voting against the proposal with their veto power. This is significant, as the veto votes currently stand at 24.55% of the total votes cast so far, and the veto threshold is 33.40%. Validators seem to be against this move, due to the legal repercussions. This proposal was said to have legally absolved them, but they might still not think so and are choosing to be cautious. Voting ends on December 27th, and it will be interesting to see how that plays out. Luna Classic coin price broke below 0.30's $150, and the possibility of the Luna Classic coin price crashing below 0.30's $10 has increased exponentially. Launchy derivatives data paints a contrasting picture. Long short trade volume plunged a significant 41.27%, reaching $1.38, 93 million S, while open interest surprisingly climbed 6.16% to $1.13, 55 million. This suggests a notable decline in trading activity despite investors holding onto their position, potentially indicating cautious optimism amid subdued trading. Luna Classic's long short ratios tell a mixed story. The overall 24-hour ratio of 0.917 suggests near balance between bullish and bearish sentiment, while OKX Exchange specifically shows a strong tilt towards longs with a ratio of 2.72. This indicates varying opinions across platforms, with some traders on OKX potentially more optimistic about Lunk's future. In the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York, Judge Jed Rakoff favored Terraform and security-based swap transactions. Du Quan and Terraform Labs were found guilty of failing to register two digital currencies that collapsed in 2022. The SEC received summary judgment on this issue, while UST, Luna, Luna, and MIR were affirmed as securities due to their nature as investment contracts. However, motions for summary judgment on fraud claims were denied, indicating a forthcoming jury trial as per the filing. So how do you think why the USTC burn proposal faces obstruction? Disclaimer. This video does not force you to buy any cryptocurrency or invest in anything. With this, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Let us know in the comments your views on the Lunk C token. And make sure to turn on the post notifications to get notified every time we post a new video.